As the death toll in the Ebola outbreak continues to rise this evening, today the World Health Organization is holding an emergency meeting. It could declare a global health emergency, which would lead to travel bans. Greta Cruz is in our satellite center tonight with some new information just coming out from the CDC. Greta? That's right, Leon. We have just learned the CDC has just raised its emergency operations center to a level one alert. That is the highest possible level. The death toll is well past 900 now, including a second death in Nigeria, which is Africa's most populous country, and a death in Saudi Arabia, a man who just returned from Sierra Leone. The Ebola outbreak has kept the presidents of Liberia and Sierra Leone from attending the U.S.-Africa summit here in Washington. On behalf of all of us here today, our thoughts and prayers are those who've been affected uh, by the Ebola outbreak. Two Americans stricken in Liberia are now in Atlanta. 59-year-old Nancy Wrightball spent her first full day at Emory University Hospital after she was wheeled in on a stretcher yesterday. Dr. Kent Brantley is also being treated there, each traveling 5,000 miles on a specially outfitted plane. I certainly do not have any concern that I would either acquire the disease or certainly not pass it on to any family member or anyone else who I'd encounter back here at home. But the death toll from Ebola is now close to 1,000, amid news that Nigerian authorities failed to initially treat Patrick Sawyer for Ebola. Sawyer, from Minnesota, later died from it. And now a Nigerian nurse who treated him is also dead. The epidemic is far from being controlled, and I think today, uh, unfortunately, we are very far from uh, controlling it. <laughs> But thanks to an experimental drug, Nancy Wrightbull and Kent Brantley appear to be holding their own. A week ago, he said, we were thinking about a possible funeral arrangements. Yet we kept our faith. Now, the World Health Organization again began meeting today to decide if the Ebola outbreak amounts to an international public health emergency. In recent years, it's only done this twice, for swine flu in 2009 and for polio in May. Live in the Satellite Center, Greta Cruz, ABC7 News. Thank you, Greta.